afternoon. Quite often I get a question on nail clipping and today I've got an ideal opportunity to show you a little bit of nail clipping. Meet Gizmo, he's just arrived today with all social distancing and everything. He's a golden white ginger or golden white teddy and as you can see the nails are pretty pretty <laughs> long. You can't see, we can see, we've got some really pretty long nails and we're always getting questions. I'll share some photos and getting questions about nail clippers and how to clip nails so so I've got some nail clippers to show you I use some like this either some like this which you can get in most pet shops or some like this I find these really good for babies and very fine nails and if you want to get the points off um, I've got a small pair or you can get slightly bigger ones in places like home bargains for 69p or under a quid anyway so quite often we get people asking about how to clip nails how you hold your guinea pigs and things like that so for me today I'm, I'm sitting here I've got my lap and we're gonna sit him on our lap and I like them tucked in nice and close to me and then all I do is I start with the backs and talk to them and stroke and we have a look at the back nails and today I'm gonna use these because it's gonna be a bit more fidget and all we're gonna do is trim he's got not too long the nails but just carefully hey gizzy talk to him gizzy yeah, is a good boy and just nip off the points and nip off where to the quick is on the wrist he's biting my wrist they say he's three nails and two out of three are not bad so what we're going to do next is have a look at his nails oh, there goes the dog thanks um you see he's got some really horrendous front nails again I just gently support his foot and support his nail with my fingers and we just cut. He's not overly keen and there's no point getting angry with him, good boy. Angry with him, just be firm. I hold, I'm holding him with my fingers on my hand. My other hand is going to keep trying to bite me. I just gently tickle him round and just get round each nail and clip. And he's done on that side and then all we do is flip him round to his other side and we'll repeat on the other hand on the other side sometimes they do like to try and keep their feet up but we can get in there and sometimes even if, they, if they're comfortable to put their foot out backwards we just trim them backwards and you can see where the points are he's very fidgety he probably hasn't had it done for a long time but it's just to show people you can do it keep you calm keep relaxed and keep doing it. We'll lift his front feet up and we'll have a look. And again, he's going to fidget. You can let him relax between. That's a really long nail. A really long nail. And there's four on the front that we have to do. So we'll just do it. Trim. There he is. He's all done. Now, for some people who are not really, really confident, I find sometimes if you want to get someone to help you, what you can do is get someone to help them. And if they hold a guinea pig up against their chest, excuse Poppy out. Hold the guinea pig up a chest and then you would have someone else cutting and then one of you can hold the foot while someone's cutting. So today if I had someone here helping I'd be holding the foot and they would just go around all the claws. Just keep them calm, keep them against your body so you're supporting them, keep your hand underneath and just use your finger and thumbs. So I hope that helps, have a good day, see you all later.